The Word in the World, Episode 1, Balanced Literacy versus the Science of Reading. Part 3, The Science of Reading, Research, Reform, and Resistance. The science of reading claims to correct the gaps in balanced literacy by grounding instruction in decades of empirical research. Neuroscientists like Stanislas Dehaene and psychologists like Linnea Eri have shown how the brain learns to connect sounds to print, how reading must be taught, not discovered. When applied well, science of reading aligned programs strengthen decoding, fluency, and vocabulary, especially for early and struggling readers. The approach also recenters teacher knowledge about how literacy develops. But the science of reading is not a single method or curriculum. It's a body of evidence, not a product. Yet in the marketplace, that nuance often gets lost. Commercial publishers now sell science of reading approved programs, and state mandates risk flattening diverse research into one-size-fits-all solutions. As literacy scholar P. David Pearson warns, science is provisional, it evolves. Treating it as settled science risks replacing one dogma with another. Teachers' pushback isn't resistance to evidence, it's frustration with being told that professional judgment doesn't count. 